Hey everyone, in this video we're studying function types and properties with ChatGPT. There are several types of functions with unique properties. For instance, an injective or one-to-one -one function assigns to different inputs different outputs, while a surjective onto function assigns to every element of the output space some input. A function that is both injective and surjective is called bijective. In this section we'll be identifying types of functions whether they are injective, surjective, or bijective. Here's our questions. Given the function f from 1, 2, 3 to a, b, c, defined by f of 1 equals a, f of 2 equals b, f of 3 equals c, would you say this function is injective, surjective, or bijective? Well, since we have no repeated outputs, it's definitely injective. And since each element in the codomain is an output to the function, then the function is also surjective. So the function is bijective. What about the function g from 1, 2, 3 to ab defined by g of 1 equals a, g of 2 equals a, g of 3 equals b? Well, since g of 1 and g of 2 are both a, meaning that the output a is repeated for two different inputs, then that means the function is not injective. However, since both a and b are outputs to the function g, the function is surjective. Lastly, consider the function h from 1, 2, 3 to a, b, c, d, defined by h of 1 equals a, h of 2 equals b, h of 3 equals c. What type of function is this? Well, there are no repeated outputs, and so that means the function is injective. However, the element d is in the codomain, but is not an output to the function h, which means the function is not surjective. So these are my answers. Now, in my original post in this conversation, I mentioned don't assume I understand a concept unless I have demonstrated that understanding with correct answers to important questions regarding that concept. I realize now that ChatGPT is testing me on everything. And I kind of regret that because I want it to be able to advance the questions so that I'm not getting every single question correct. I want the difficulty to increase, which at this point requires me to skip ahead a bit. That means I need to reverse this statement. And I'm gonna do that in a meta discussion below. Okay, so here's the note that I'm gonna add at the end. I noticed that in the beginning of this discussion, I said, don't assume I understand a concept unless I have demonstrated that understanding with correct answers to important questions regarding this concept. At the same time, I don't want that to prevent the discussion from advancing in difficulty. Since I have demonstrated that I've answered questions correctly, consistently, then I want you to increase level of difficulty or change topics significantly and jump ahead into more advanced discussions and or more important theorems of proofs. I don't want to spend too much time demonstrating what I already know, but at the same time, I don't want to advance too far ahead that I don't understand what's going on anymore. So this is an example of me guiding the teacher. Now I really want to emphasize how important this is. In normal classrooms, we can't just tell the teacher to change how they teach because that's not how teachers teach. Teachers develop their own methodology for how to instruct. And if we don't like that instruction, then there's not much we can do about that. However, with ChatGPT, we can adjust how this education moves forward without getting into logistical troubles with meta discussions like this. So let's see how ChatGPT responds. Great work, your answers show a solid understanding of injective, surjective, and bijective functions. All of your answers are correct. Your request for more challenging material is duly noted. We'll start to explore some more complex concepts and theorems balancing advancement with understanding. Nice. In this session, we move forward into exploring different types of functions, specifically injective, surjective, and bijective functions. Your answers were completely accurate, demonstrating that you understand these concepts very well. Thanks, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.